Are you leveraging the full capabilities of your Microsoft 365 applications? Let's look at five ways that Microsoft Outlook and Teams connect and work together. Number one, synchronizing data. Teams and Outlook connect in a number of ways. Because the Teams calendar view syncs with your Outlook calendar, it's easy to view and schedule meetings from Teams. Here I have my Teams calendar, but I can also create a new Teams meeting from Outlook. It's whatever makes the most sense for you. So here from my Home tab, New Teams Meeting. I've created my Teams Meeting. I'm ready to send this out as an invitation. And one of the things that's also really handy here is I can even access meeting options for this Teams Meeting. So I don't have to do this from the Teams side anymore. This can also let me really, you know, create these appointments wherever it makes sense for me. So I will send this out. And here we see that same meeting showing up in my Teams calendar. So when we get closer to this time frame, I could even join the meeting directly here from Teams or from Outlook. Another way that we see Teams and Outlook synchronize is through our out of office message. I can go to my status. I simply click on my profile and here is that status message. So I can schedule an out of office from Teams or from Outlook. Teams, however, will also reflect if I've already scheduled an out of office in Outlook. To change your status in Teams, look for my video in the link above and the video description. Number two, sharing an Outlook email message with Teams. Save time by leveraging Teams collaboration and communications feature and forward email messages directly to a Teams channel. That might be a lot more productive than the back and forth that we so often have when we're sharing information via email. There's a couple ways to send an email to a channel. One way is from Outlook. I can simply choose from the ribbon, Share to Teams. Or I can find this option in the dot, 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 or more actions, and Share to Teams this way. Next, I'll enter in the channel where I'd like to send this. And I'd like this to go to the Go to Market plan. And we'll go ahead and share. And now that email shows up in this channel. Another option we could have used to share from Outlook to Teams would be to go to the channel, move to the dot, 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 or more, and we can get the email address. Here's a unique email address for this channel. All I need to do is copy it, and then in Outlook, I can forward the message, paste in that email address, and it would also show up here in the channel. Number three, sharing attachments. To share any email attachments, you can simply drag and drop the attachment from the message to a Teams channel. So here I have this workbook that we want to share with the team. I can simply drag this and drop it right into my post, into my message, and send it on its way. And now it's available in this Teams channel. It will also be part of the available files in the channel. Number four, sharing conversations. To share a Teams channel conversation or chat to an Outlook email, you can click the dot, dot, dot in the upper right hand corner. And here is the option to share to Outlook. And here I have that conversation, including the entire thread, that is all the responses to that. I can share this via email. The same options are available for sharing a chat. I can either hover over that chat, go to the dot, 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 or more options, and here is shared Outlook. I see the same options if I right click on the chat and I can share to Outlook. Number five, creating a task from a conversation. Let's pretend that this just came in today. Isaiah is asking me to review the contract and it might be a quick turnaround. But this could be one of many tasks that I have today. To make sure that I remember it, I can create a task from it. All I need to do here is hover over that conversation. Once again, we can go to the dot, dot, dot. And now I have more actions. Here is create task. This action creates a task that will show up in your Outlook task and to do items. I will set the due date for today and add the task. Now I'm back in Outlook in the To Do app, 
and I see this task showing up in my day, it will also show up in the Outlook task. Which of these tips will you start using to connect Outlook and Teams? For more tips on being productive with Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Teams, or to sign up for my tips newsletter, visit these free resources at thesoftwarepro.com slash outlook and thesoftwarepro.com slash teams. If this training was helpful, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.